One killer social media post could completely change your business. But what if I told you if you could create not only one killer post, but 300 posts for your social media in less than 10 minutes? In this video, I'm going to show you my exact system to generate months of content creation using the help of Canva and ChatGPT. And the best part is that you don't even need designing skills or expensive softwares. I have discovered that this method not only saves hours of content creation time, but also helps to maintain your consistency across all the platforms on social media. And today I'm going to break down the process in five simple steps that anyone can follow. By the end of this video, you will know how to generate endless content creation ideas using AI, how to transform those ideas into visuals, and the secret trick to generate 300 posts in the most easiest way. And the first step is actually the most overlooked. Most people jump straight into creating content, but there is something that you need to know first that will make the process 10 times easier. And to start with this, we're gonna be using ChatGPT. You can go and create your account completely for free. But here is where most people go wrong. They will try to generate the 300 ideas at once which usually will end up with repetitive content. Instead, we're going to do something much smarter. Once we are on ChatGPT, over here we have to go and add our prompt. And for my prompt, I'm going to be using this one. Create a list of 75 inspirational quotes and then over here you can go and add your niche and over here i'm just going to be choosing a topic so i'm going to be doing for content creation i'm just going to go and let ChatGPT write this 75 inspirational quotes and there we go ChatGPT already generate our 75 inspirational quotes but we're going to move on into our next content and for this i'm going to be using this prompt create a list of 75 tips and tricks for and over here we're going to make exactly the same i'm just going to add content creation and i'm going to let it write it and over there we already have also our tips and tricks then i'm going to make exactly the same but this time i'm going to be adding create a list of 75 do's and don'ts for and i'm going to make exactly the same content creation just following the same pattern so we're here for content creation and then we paste it over here and then we send it as you can see, we're giving valuable information for our followers in different types of formats. So we have inspirational quotes, we have tips and tricks, now we're adding do's and don'ts, and finally we can add true or false. And I'm going to be adding the last part, create the list of true or false for and then again our niche. So once we have all of our content complete from ChatGPT, what we have to do is just go and take all of this content and then you can paste it in uh, Excel or if you don't have Excel like me, I'm going to be pasting it into the Google Sheet. So it doesn't matter. You can just go and open your Google account and then just open one of these ones. And now what I'm going to do is just go and then start to copy all of my information from ChatGPT. So I'm going to be copying this one and then I'm going to go and paste it back over here. But you have to be very careful that you don't leave any text over here that we don't want on our post. This is very important because this document is going to be the base for our post. You will see later, but for now, we just have to go and delete the extra text. So this one we don't need, so I'm just going to click in edit. And over here, I'm going to click in delete, and then we just delete it. The same for this, so edit, and then delete because it is not a part of the post it's just like a title that ChatGPT adds so we don't really need this and we have this one as well so there we go and then delete and then this one also and then delete and then you're going to keep doing this with the four categories that we just have created if you're not sure you can just go and then check over here so we have 76 and we only create 75 so you can just go and double check there just delete the one that you have extra and then i'm going to make exactly the same then i'm just going to take tips and tricks and then from here starting from the number one i'm just going to copy and then 
all right there we go and then you paste it over here and then exactly the same process it doesn't really matter if you want to keep the same font or no because later on on canva we can change it as well so you just have to go and then make sure everything is perfectly set up so over here edit and then same it'll delete this is easier because we can see that ChatGPT add like a emoji there so it's easy for me to identify which one i have to delete actually 150 we're halfway there And then as you can see on the numbers over here, I already have my 300 post and what we have to do now is just go and save it as a CSV. Over here, you just have to go to this section and over here, we're just going to click in download. Over here, it's going to show us the option of CSV. And this is very important because from here, we're going to take the database for our post. So once you have saved it as a CSV, we can move on into the font part. We can go to Canva and over here we can start the designing of our posts. So I'm going to be opening Canva and once you are in your Canva homepage, over here I'm just going to click in create a design. Over here I'm just going to go to the section of social media post. I'm going to be creating Instagram Reels. So once my design is open, I can start with the designing, which is amazing because this is the most fun part for me. So over here, I'm just going to go to the section of design and you can go and then just search for some templates that you can use for your own social media posts. Or if you want to generate it from scratch, you can also go and then start to play with the fonts and elements that you want to add on it. But I think for mine, I'm going to be using a template since it's much more easy. So I'm just gonna go scroll down. I don't find something nice. So I'm just gonna go and then just add social media. And then over there, I can see what I can get. Oh, this one. This one is nice. So I'm gonna be using this one. It actually has a lot of sections, as you can see. Oh, it has a lot of good options over here. Oh yeah, we just have to go and choose one, huh? That's the hard part, I guess. I think I'm going to be using this one. This is my favorite so far. So now I already select the template that I'm going to be using. I can go and change the things that I want different on my um, post. So I'm not going to be complicating things. And I'm just going to be keeping one of the fonts. Over here you could go and you could even add your Instagram. So let's say there i'm gonna go closer because this is too little i cannot see mariana all right and there we go i already have my instagram and then from here i think i'm gonna add maybe like a element so it, it looks better so something like this yeah i like it and then i'm gonna change it to black so it fits with all of the designing so something like that yeah, just, just add your own design to this post now that i really like this end result what i'm gonna do now is just the magic of the bull creation and to do this i'm gonna go to the section of pull create on canva from here you're just gonna go and you're gonna click in upload data over here is gonna ask you for the data that you want to add into your post so we're just gonna be adding our csv document the one that we have already created and i'm gonna click in open so now, as you can see, we have our text over here and it's asking us to connect this data into our post. Because we have text, we also have to connect it into a text. I'm just going to click over here in this text and I'm going to click in the three dots. Over here, as you can see, we have the button that says connect data. So I'm just going to go click over it and over here i'm just gonna go and select our data and there we go we already have connected both of them our csv document our post and also our visual that we just designed and now we can click in continue and now as you can see it already connected all of our posts that we just have created and it says 299 because the first one is going to be this one over here so one we have already created and it's going to go and generate 299 more i'm just going to go and click in generate 299 designs and there you have it 300 post for your social media. This is the Reels version, but you could also go and make exactly the same process for a normal post for social media. So you're just going to go design your post and then just add the text that you want to add. So let's say I want to make half Reels and then half post. Then you go, you adjust your CSV, you put half of them in the Reels and half of them in your normal post.
but you keep getting 300 posts. For the Reels, the only extra thing that I would recommend you to do, since you don't want that your followers get tired of the same video at the background, is just go and change the video. So that's the only thing that you have to do for the Reels, but for the post, you can keep the exact same visual, but with the different value on the information. So that's how you can go and play around with the creation of your post. Every journal in social media is different, but posting consistently across platforms in social media is not only nice, it's also essential for growth. And this system ensures that you never run out of content for your social platform. Now you have learned how to generate 300 social media posts with the help of AI and Canva. If you also want to learn how to create a content calendar, I'm gonna leave the link on my description. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you in another video. Have a great day.